everybody. It's Robbie. Um, I'm very, very excited to be here on this planet. <laughs> For one thing, I had a very scary incident uh, this last month that uh, I'm okay now, or at least healing from. Um, but I'm here with uh, a very dear friend of mine uh, to discuss the making of our video, We Are The Watchers. Um, and before we start this discussion, I just want to say thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel because I have a lot more art and videos coming um, after this one. But uh, without further ado, I would like to introduce my dear friend Nicolette Spear, who is uh, an incredible artist all around. Um, she does oil paintings and uh, just all sorts of art. But as a body painter, I would say she is like top notch one of the best in the world. And I can't be more uh, grateful to have had her collaborate with me on this video. So um, let me bring her into this conversation and say, hello, Nicolette, how are you doing? Hi, I'm really good. I'm really Nicolette, good. Um, where in the world are you right now? Uh, I'm in Maine at my family's cabin. You can see it's a little bit rustic yes. here. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm in, it's on the border of Maine and Canada, so I'm really deep in nature right now. Lots of trees and beautiful lakes. Um, so yeah, feeling the vibe of the video, for sure. Yeah. Um, appropriate that you bring up nature. I feel like that's a perfect segue into what we're talking about. Um, so uh, just a quick little background on this song. Um, it's called We Are the Watchers, and the whole idea of the song is it's it's sung from the perspective of uh, the plants on the earth, uh, all the green plants who I um, have a theory, at least in this the fiction of this song, that they are all one interconnected consciousness who are spying on us, um, and uh, our interaction with them actually affects that they affects the ways that they grow and their interaction with us is actually secretly affecting the ways that we make decisions if we choose to listen to them. So um, in this song, I talk about uh, basically five colors, which are gray, who is representative of us as uh, modern humanity, green, which is the nature, uh, blue, which is actually representative of my depression um, as a bipolar uh, individual, I've had to deal with depression as blue, orange is my mania, and then black is the final color. And that is sort of representative of the ether, um, the sort of the time, bef the, the space before time. It's where our inspiration comes from. It's where we come from uh, to become alive and it's where we go and we die. That's the sort of <laughs> quick uh, background and what we're talking about here um, in this song. Um, so, Nicolette, shall we discuss um, how this video came into being? Yeah, so I really love and feel deeply connected to nature. And when Robbie asked me to do body painting for this music video in Hawaii, I was very excited to do that. Um, the only issue was that it was in the middle of, well, kind of, yeah, I'd say smack in the middle of the pandemic. It was, um, it was January, 2021. So we all had to test a lot and be isolated and quarantined. And it was a really interesting time to be making a music video, but luckily we were doing most of it outdoors, um, in nature and, uh, Hawaii is really beautiful. So it was a really cool experience. Yeah. Um, so uh, the, the filmmaker is named Sam Nutman. Uh, he's an incredible filmmaker. You can go to his website, which is motionstate.com. And um, he's just super prolific and professional. He and I were kind of riffing on what to do for this music video. And he was already in Hawaii. And as we were talking about these colors, he said he was out on the beach looking at each of the colors I was singing about. There was the the green jungle and the blue ocean. And there was a sunset that was orange and there's the black lava rock. He's like, we have to do this here. And he said, what if we bring on uh, a body painter? What if we bring Nicolette? And I was like, ah, that's the perfect thing. So that was sort of the, um, the basic outline. 
And so we all, Nicolette and I went out to Hawaii and really just kind of started riffing <laughs> on this whole thing. Um, so the idea was I was going to play the color uh, gray, um, which was, I liked the idea of him um, as if he was stepping out of a black and white movie into a colorful world. Um, so I have this sort of uh, video here that um, at any moment we'll start playing. <laughs> uh, we had a question in the chat too, oh, if, like, if you want to. So how did we meet? You and I? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that actually is a good question. Um, we are a part of a really cool community um, in LA. And uh, I believe that must be where we met, right? Uh, just... I think that we're a part of a Bohemian artist collective, Robbie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah completely. I mean, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's a bunch of amazing artists and performers and musicians. And um, we all get together and have gatherings and find ways to collaborate. Um, but yeah, we've actually uh, known each other for over 10 years now, which is kind of amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm also very grateful to say that I, I'm pretty sure I've had Nicolette's involvement in everything I've ever done. <laughs> well, every music video anyway. <laughs> yeah. Every uh, event I've thrown, I feel like you are, you are oh, yeah. just always a part of uh, the various productions that are uh, I'm a part of, which is oh. how, <laughs> I'm how lucky I am for that. Did, where did your video go? Um, yeah, it's, let me see if it'll play now. You know what? This thing is not making it really easily. So let me try it a different way. Um, anyway, the, the idea was I was the gray color, stepped out of a black and white uh, movie. So here, why don't we do this? Nicolette, let's just start the video. And we're going to be like pausing and starting and, uh, talking about it along the way. So if you, if you would like to actually watch the video without us talking about it, the link is in the description. So you can go there and you can come back or whatever you want to do. On so, YouTube, right? The description on YouTube? Yes. The this YouTube this description. video's description. Correct. OK, just making sure. You're currently watching our live stream. Um, so here we go. This is the video. I'm going to pause right away <laughs> because yeah, <laughs> if they want to the video, they should go to the link, so. <laughs> um, and what you can see here is some of Nicolette's brilliant painting. She uh, managed to make me look like a human who has stepped out of a black and white music video. Um, I would say a, a black and white film or maybe even a drawing, like a two-dimensional gray person. <laughs> right. Um, so what she did was actually paint a suit that I brought out to Hawaii um, and then also obviously paint my face and body, um, which was we figured uh, it took about an hour to get to do my uh, art. Face every and day. Hands. Yeah, face and hands. And then the suit we painted before and that took a couple of hours, too. So suit, hand, hat and uh, briefcase. Right. Was before. So let me see here. You're kind of like a business person, like you're you're going to Wall Street or something. There we go. This is sort of the uh, other spray. <laughs> cover me in gray. Uh, <laughs> totally got used to that after a while. Um, <laughs> and then you would paint me up uh, like this, which, yeah, these things would just. We would do this every day. We did it about seven or eight times, I think. It took us eight days wow. to film this. I think so. Um, and how long did it take you to get off at the end of the night? It's a question from the chat. <laughs> Good question. Yeah. And it probably took me about an, uh, 40 minutes of like showering to get out of it each night. <laughs> it was really nice in Hawaii. 
their shower, there are these cute little frogs called coquies who are making sounds around us. But uh, yeah, it took a lot of scrubbing. Uh, <laughs> I also had to dye my hair black <laughs> in order to uh, pull this off. <laughs> because we wanted it to really look like I uh, had the black hair, like I stepped out of a black and white movie. All right. Mm -hmm. So shall we continue on to... In a gray world, one might overlook a green sprout growing out from a black crack in the cement. But you affect the ways the green grows, for it knows there's a point in every sky where blue meets orange. Before the world was gray, the world was green. Covered in carpeting. All right, so <laughs> let's talk about green. Uh, because she has become kind of the, uh, the image of this video. And <laughs> um, really a just... Spectacular work by you, Nicolette. Thank you. Have you ever done anything like this? Painted someone to like match, uh, I don't know, a jungle or the forest or blend in like that? Um, yeah, I've done camouflaging pieces with like blending people into trees or buildings or just nature things. Um, but I've never done anything outdoors in Hawaii. And let me tell you, there are mosquitoes and spiders and like all kinds of scary things. Right. Um, I did a lot of the painting at inside and then went out to like actually blend with the tree to avoid some of the creatures. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> There's a couple questions in the, in the chat too. Right. I wanted yeah. to address um, one. So the, paint that we used on green is water-based um, because it didn't need to stay on underwater. But once we get to the blue character, you'll see there was some alcohol-based paint that was used. And I actually had to paint on the alcohol-based paint on Robbie as well. Um, so I'm sure that day it was a lot harder to remove the makeup. Yes. Um, how did, and then how did we pick the models? Um, they were just friends of ours that happened to be in Hawaii, I think. Right? You're so lucky. Yes. Um... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and we threw it out to them, and they immediately agreed. Um, so this green character is our friend Lily Love, um, who is also a lovely human. Um, you can find her on uh, our various links. But um, yeah, one of the biggest, most precarious things about uh, painting green and then going into the jungle was the possibility of all of this water-based paint coming right off in the off chance that there was uh, going to be a rainstorm. Oh yeah, if there was a rain shower, we had an umbrella ready. <laughs> right. Just in case. And actually- yeah, The humidity is a little bit of a challenge, you know? Right, um, the humidity and uh, the- Garbage! There, I'm also like simultaneously finding other videos to load. The- uh, <laughs> You're doing great. Good multitasking. Yeah, doing lots of <laughs> producing at the same time. Um, there were rainstorms forecasted in the uh, in the forecast, so luckily we it didn't rain <laughs> because that would have literally melted all of her incredible paint off. And how long did it take for you to paint Lily? Um, I think it was four or five hours. Yeah, <laughs> not including our time in the rainforest, which is probably another hour. Right. So. Sam and I had to figure out what was the ideal time to film, which I think we realized was like maybe 2 or 3 p.m. So we're like, okay, it's going to take five or six hours to paint. Then we, it's going to give it, you know, we need an hour to get there and set up. So all these things, we picked Lily up at, I think, 6 in the morning, if not before, and started painting her then. Um, yeah, and like, mm -hmm. like you said, started doing it inside because uh, doing it in oh, and things. I have this cool thing. I have this cool little video, which is a... Oh yeah, time lapses are fun. Time lapse. Um, those. <laughs> yeah, so here's, I wonder, is this gonna be the whole five hours? 
Uh, yeah, probably. So we did her, you did her front she and back. lunch. <laughs> and she got yeah. cold. She got cold. <laughs> beanie on her we're like we can't put any clothes on you so i'll give you a beanie mm -hmm. deal with it <laughs> it's hard being a model a body paint model honestly um <laughs> so yeah it was an incredible work that you managed to pull off <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> i like sam and sarah so that's our director on the right and uh their photography was dp is the photography person on the left sarah yeah, so uh, great day visuals. Exactly. <laughs> so, so a lot of the behind the scenes visuals you've seen are her amazing work. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Aline likes time lapses too, so that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, yeah. Shall we continue watching the video? Do people feel uh, sufficient on their understanding of green, or <laughs> are there any more questions? Oh. I would mention that I think, I mean, for me, and I don't know how this is for you, Robbie, but for me, green kind of, you know, she's the first one and I feel like she kind of represents mother nature in general. So just like. Absolutely. That yes. kind of Ga Gaia character. Completely. Yes. And that, that kind of goes back to what I was saying that she is representative of not just one singular plant, but all of the plants on nature who are one singular consciousness uh, kind of shaking the gray back into reality. Like there is color, come back, be here presently with me. And, and do you feel like humans are kind of like we're separated from nature, generally speaking at this point? Yeah, that's, that's the um, kind of the concept of the song is like, you know, the reason why I chose gray as the color is because it seems like humans have covered up nature with gray sidewalks and buildings and turned the the clouds gray with smog and everything has just become really muted. And not only that, people have become really separate from each other um, in, in the ways that they're all looking at their phones. And so, um, you know, the first thing I say as my character, uh, who is the sort of, what do we call him, Niles, the, uh, the narrator, singer of the whole thing, um, I say, mute it for a second but i say uh before the world was gray uh no what, what do i say let's listen to him say it really quick look, <laughs> sprout growing out from a black crack in the look, look, the green look. sprout growing out from a black crack in the cement sorry i'm gonna go back a little bit further in a gray world one might overlook a green sprout growing out from a black crack in the cement so first i'm gonna stop there because the idea is in this gray world, we are surrounded by nature, but when uh, we're so hyper-focused on what's ahead of us and what's to come, it feels sometimes like people aren't recognizing these beautiful things around us. So I say, in a gray world, one might overlook a green sprout growing out from the black crack in the cement. And you'll actually see that in my logo, which is uh, just here, I'm gonna do this kind of thing up here. There's my logo, is that, mm -hmm. There's a little it's rabbit. The other, it's the other corner, actually. Oh, sorry. It's a there's a little <laughs> rabbit. Head. There's a there. There's a little rabbit head on the R, and then there's a teeny little sprout growing out from the S, um, which is all a part of this concept. Um, <clears throat> so yes. Uh, but you affect the ways the green grows, for it knows there's a point in every sky where blue meets orange. I'm also going to say Blue Meets Orange is the name of my album. This is the last song that I wrote on the album. I had already recorded all other nine tracks. And this song I uh, I added because I wanted to like, like as an introduction to the entire album, like here's what's to come. Um, so it's kind of cool that it's the last song I wrote. And now it's the first song on the album and the first video we're releasing. Um, what is Patrick asking here? After shooting the video, uh, has the the color green changed for uh, for you at all? Like when you see green in your everyday life, does it have more meaning? Um, that's a great question. And yeah, I think it does. I think that it, going back to that concept, I sort of um, enjoy the belief that plants are all, uh, all have our best interests in mind. Um, you know, there are these concepts of like mycelium networks and uh, through fungal networks, 
trees are actually in communication with each other. They're like sending nutrients to each other. And like when a tree is uh, about to die, it will actually send most of its nutrients to new born trees or trees that are younger so that they can sprout quicker. It's like incredible. So there's this wisdom um, beyond our understanding even in plants. And I would say that, um, yeah, my relationship with green has like stayed, uh, it has grown even more profound. Hmm. Okay, continuing on with the video. Um, all right. Okay. Before the world was gray, the world was green. And covered in carpeting, the grass finds and leaves overtook the terra firma near and far until the green. quick little fun behind the scenes thing i think you were the one nicolette who threw the leaves that are oh, no i was not oh you weren't <laughs> i actually thought it was a bad idea oh really what do you think mm -hmm. now i i think it's awesome okay. <laughs> but sam did that sam our, our director was like i'm gonna throw these leaves and i was like that's cheesy man and he did it and it looks amazing so i'm glad that he i'm glad that he did that why did my camera just turn off Hold on. <laughs> Standing by, did this? Oh gosh, darn. Okay, allow. Can you hear me still? I do hear you. Weird. I think we'd have these things figured out before we started. Why doesn't it work totally? All right, here. Sorry, guys. I <laughs> to figure this out. Uh... It's okay. You're just the disembodied voice of Robbie Fitzsimmons. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of fun too <laughs> incidentally your mom keeps trying to join my instagram live and i keep accepting her and i don't know why it's not working <laughs> so, I don't know. so but i'm trying <laughs> Here, but she's uh, very cute <laughs> she keeps asking sissy i want to let you in i don't know why i just accept it again <laughs> the sun will save us before the world is green. The world is blue, rivers and waterfalls float into the oceans. The moon and earth pull back and forth. So, this is that underwater scene that we were talking about, and definitely. I used alcohol-based paint for the underwater stuff because um, water-based paint would come off underwater. Right. <laughs> so, Can you see and hear me now again? Yeah, there you are. <laughs> um, yes. So uh, let's get into... A blue is my favorite color. So it's interesting that to you it, in, it represents your depression because for me it represents like, I don't know, profundity of emotion, like depth of emotion. Totally. And well, for me too, uh, in the context of all this, depression actually isn't a bad thing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's not ideal, <laughs> um, but I wouldn't have uh, some of the art that I have without it. And True. Um, you'll see this character uh, sort of, he's actually it, the, the cover of the um, video, it's, or the, the song on iTunes and everything is actually him lifting me up um, because that is, uh, that's what it, he's all about. It's sort of like the, uh, I had to go there, I had to go down to be lifted back up again. But here we go. Here is Nicolette uh, bringing blue to life in, uh, we're in Kona, Hawaii at this point. Um, so she is airbrushing him. Do you remember how long he took? 
Um, I think he was a little bit faster. The airbrush is kind of fast. So maybe like three hours or maybe two or three hours. Right. Um, but yeah, again, it was also, we were, it was experimentation. Like, I don't know if any of us had exactly the idea of what he should look like. We just knew that he was going to be underwater swimming. Um, his name is Ryan, by the way, he's a free diver. And oh, look at his little fancy eyes there. <laughs> I was um, kind of going with a shark type inspiration, like kind of like a like a dark, mysterious shark. <laughs> totally. Yeah. And it, it definitely worked. Um, <laughs> oh, this was the beginning of it. You apparently started with his abular area and muscular <laughs> features. Yes, I do like to accentuate the anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm seeing Tasha is asking me about uh, why did I have Sam direct this video? Um, because, his, well, something that lined up very well uh, is that the reason why Sam was in, Sam and Sarah were both in Hawaii was because Sam was getting his uh, diving credentials to become a scuba diver, uh, to, I mean, to get to the next level of scuba diving. So um, when we were coming up with this idea, he was like, yeah, we can totally <laughs> blue underwater. And uh, that sounded like a great idea. So we rolled with it. Mm -hmm. um, and also Sam does some really amazing underwater photography, photography, I think, before that, right? Yes. Yeah, it's got a lot of underwater experience. Um, and now Sarah does too. Uh, mm -hmm. Both of their Instagrams are incredible. Uh, the thing yeah. <clears throat> They Actually, are, uh, Sarah took our, our behind the scenes underwater photos too, which are pretty amazing. Right. Um, I'll say again, uh, for those of you just joining us here or on our Instagram live, uh, I will say uh, you can find the link to the video in the description or in our bio, whichever thing uh, you are on. Um, so if you want to watch our video without stopping and starting, please go check that out there. Um, sea Dog, you asked me, do you think you would have uh, made uh different art or may not have been an artist at all without the depression and i will say at least in my experience yeah like it's all played a role into my uh existence as a human and an artist and it's all um the reason why my album is called blue meets orange is it's sort of my uh reconciling the two recognizing that the depression and the mania have both been integral pieces of my art, um, my songwriting and all of it. Mm -hmm. um, That's amazing, Robbie. It's really beautiful. Oh, thank you. Um, all right, let's continue with the video then. I love that line. You created when two bodies come together and then you guys come together. It's so beautiful. So before we uh, finish up on the, the topic of blue, um, I'd just like to talk about <laughs> the filming day uh, when we did the blue, which was crazy <laughs> because we went into this oh, day. Yeah. first of all uh nicolette had to paint us with alcohol based um uh paints that we crossed our fingers would like stay on us in the ocean for all of our swimming and going up and down and it was a long shoot with many shots <laughs> yes so um we swam out into this gorgeous bay uh it was also during a bit of a rainstorm. Um, and we were where we are here, it was about 150 feet deep. Um, and Ryan, who plays Blue, is a free diver. Um, so he can actually dive down really deep and come back up. He has a whole process. Um, oh, actually, Nicolette, you wanted me to share that video of him telling me the process of how to. Yeah, Robbie learned how to free dive 
after everyone was painted driving to the video shoot. So we were driving to go like dive and do our underwater. <laughs> It would be important this for me is to actually like, the moment. my ears as I go down, yes? Yes, yes. So have you ever done that, go into like the bottom of like a 12-foot pool or anything like that? Yeah, for sure. And so um, you're you're going to want to be doing that. And, <laughs> it's so uh, We're just uh, out the car like Yes, it's okay. actually uh, more is more is better than less. Got it. Um, and when training for freediving, what they often have us doing is we'll actually equalize before we go down. So we're like preemptively equalizing almost. Um, I'm going to be doing that. And uh, Wish I, knew how to do I guess that. The, the biggest thing is um, your arms take less ATP than your legs do. What's so, ATP? Uh, just aden adenosine triphosphate, just the, the energy molecule. Oh, okay. So if you are um, <laughs> swimming right. mostly with your arms, you're going to be using less energy uh, and you're going <laughs> to have more of the air and breath reserve. So Okay, um, that's good to know. I think I use my arms mostly anyway. Okay, he's ready. I surf. Yeah, totally <laughs> ready. There you go. Okay, surf before, twice. Yeah. Okay, so the thing <laughs> He's is, ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to listen to all of that, but um, yeah, we went out for, uh, mm. pause this. We were out there for three hours, I think. We swam out about, we probably swam out 300 yards into this deep thing. I had a wetsuit on. Um, with some weights on me to kind of equalize me. Ryan was free of anything. He's a free diver, so no weights or anything. Nicolette was out there with a couple boogie boards. She was kind of our little like assistant, like making sure we were safe while we were out there. I call myself the emotional support dolphin. They could come <laughs> take breaks on the boogie boards. And then I was also responsible for hand signaling between the director and the actors. So right. like they would look at me and I'd be like, come back up or they're going back down or they need a break. Like, <laughs> Right. Yeah. And I think uh, I w it was really nerve wracking for me because Ryan, who is pretty uh, skilled at the free diving thing, he was trying to keep me calm. You know, he's like, OK, we're going to take a deep breath in. And he would go down first because oftentimes he would be coming up from below me. So we would be doing this breath thing. He would take a big, deep breath in and go down and now i'm alone up there and i'm just like damn it i have to go down again <laughs> i would i got a deep breath i'd swim down as far as i could we'd do these shots um we probably went up and down how many times at least 50 times over the course of three hours. and i was not doing my uh <clears throat> equalization very well so I actually developed a little bit of uh, tinnitus. I have a little bit of a ringing in my right ear as a still? result of this. Uh, yeah, when I think about it, it's still there. Um, it's sort of a uh, a donation of myself to the art world, which, yeah, Doesn't I'm okay with it. Totally. I mean, this art is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so proud of it. So uh, whatever, I can deal with it. <laughs> as a musician, well, I don't know. Well, when I'm playing music, it all goes away, you oh, know? That's good. Um, and actually, it's, when I'm not thinking about it, it uh, it's not there. It's all a mental thing. I went to an auditory specialist and whatever. It's all good. It okay. uh, comes and goes, and it's mostly all good. So, all right, let's continue with the video, yeah? We have a couple funny comments. Oh, yeah, what's up? The uh, V says, you've literally suffered for your art. And then she also says that, my new nickname is Forever Emotional Support Dolphin. <laughs> That's great. Thanks, v. Yeah, I love that for you. You are, uh, you are everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. So we'll continue with the video then. Out of blue and now into orange. Before the world was blue, the world was orange. Bombarded by asteroids. Okay, so before we get into black now, um, let's talk a little bit about orange. Uh, the orange people um, have the least amount of paint of any of our colorful characters, um, which is not uh, a slight to you or anything. We just, um, I think we wanted 
Why did we do that, actually? Um, I I don't know. They have like some kind of like kind of I don't know, like tribal dots and lines and um decorations, but I think the reflection on the skin is pretty orange. Right. Um I mean painting you is a lot of work too. Maybe it was just because there's just so many of them. There are so many of them. We were yeah, we just had limited time. Um and also I think, yeah, we, we realized that like <clears throat> the skin would reflect the orange with the fire so well. So we just kind of you just kind of made them like light little magical creatures. But um it's also interesting because they are like the most human of any of the creature the characters in the video. Um mm -hmm. so that's kind of interesting. Um hey, Zimmy is excited to have finally found the YouTube link. <laughs> um so yeah that's why we did that i uh this video that i just showed is uh the only one i have on this example but that's when i first come to as uh as the it's when you're waking up in orange right and it's uh let's see let's see if you can find that it's just after this it's right here this is the moment so you can actually see her uh her flames reflected in my glasses mm -hmm. there. Oh, I also wanted to talk about Niles here in this part um, because this, this whole scene. <laughs> Who is this guy? This is Niles. He's the uh, David Attenborough inspired um, narrator of the whole thing. And um, I love David Attenborough. Um, <laughs> so here I have a couple little cool things around this. Inside this is a lava tube. Uh, yeah, we went inside of a lava tube to film, <laughs> which was absolutely stunning. Um, there we are just bumbling around inside of it. And luckily there weren't a ton of people there. But look at how gorgeous inside this is. The lava tube. Vines hanging down. Um, yeah, it was phenomenal. Um, then I also have this little video of us filming in there, which you'll hear me singing. I wanted to talk we about how, uh, how we did the flame, how I did the torch there. Um, here, back to this little guy. So the way I, we did this flame, because we didn't totally think it through, is uh, we found a little piece of uh, bamboo um, just out in nature. And luckily we had some of the uh, lighter fuel that, that fire spinners use for our future things. And we were like, okay, well we need to attach uh, something to this stick in order to light it. So I, I took off my socks. <laughs> um, <so we> <laughs> That's your socks on there. We only had two chances. So the first take, was we wrapped it around the end and dipped it in fuel and uh, lit it on fire. And it was like, try and get as much as we can. And then the second time, uh, I did it with my other sock. And so I lost, I'm, I'm barefoot in this shot. <laughs> I have those cool boots on barefoot. <laughs> Looks um, uncomfortable. Hey, Tasha, thanks for thinking my voice sounds good, even a cappella. <laughs> Um, I'll play that little bit for you again because it is kind of cool. Oh, I also had for all of these shots, um, at least as this character, you see me take out my phone. I had my phone in my pocket uh, playing the track and I was singing along to it as best as I could. So all of that uh, aligns in this video, luckily. Um, okay, now we continue on to the next section, next color, which is black. And there's a bit of uh, interesting uh, controversy we can get into with this color. That's why we need I'm gonna stop right there because that's such a cool image, I think. Um, 
Black in this video is the only one who is not actually painted uh, anymore. And there is a reason for this, um, which is, uh, I'm actually gonna pull up some footage here. He is called Black and he comes out of the lava rocks and the original idea was for him to be uh, a black character. And when we filmed it, we had all of the purest of intentions in the world, obviously. Um, but just before we were about to release this, um, we realized that there could be a problem, which is that um, I'm trying to find uh, some of the footage I have of this, um, which is that people are hypersensitive right now to um, to things that are uh, in any way um, could be referenced to. Uh, BLM, something anti-black. So here uh, you can see him. Um, here, I wonder if I do it. Uh, maybe if I do it this way. You can see he's right here in the middle and he is covered in black. And so he's, he's actually black. covered in the lava rock itself. He's a mixture of clay and like the, he's supposed to blend with the rocks. Right. So he's like clay and like dust from the earth. But unfortunately, um, we had to censor it, or we right. made a judgment call to censor it. Here, actually, before I play that, I'll play you guys. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of silly, but yeah, this is how this is what we had to do. The uh, what you did was you first spray painted him black, mm -hmm. um, and then you covered him in uh, yeah. Israeli. Mud. mud and dirt and yeah and then it cracks and you can see the cracks in it i don't know if we have any pictures but like the clay cracks and it's got like fissures and stuff underneath so it looks like the cracked lava rock right um yeah. let me see if i have any other uh i have like a <clears throat> you don't have to yeah just, like, if you're it, you can just sort of squirting it out <laughs> yeah so that's what's going on so, uh, but it's okay. I'm going to play that again. Uh, he represents the universe, though. So I think that the digital um, the digital elements over the top works. Right. So that's uh, when we were told. It's like a galaxy. When we were told of the potential of him being misinterpreted or at least giving me uh, a bad name or, or making I'm me. I'm making so anyone feel uncomfortable. Um, yeah. We came up with a solution, which was uh, to make him basically representative of the universe. And by um, we had to, uh, what is it called? Rotoscope him out, every image of his character. And then uh, we inserted, Teddy, uh, Teddy Saunders helped us insert this image, a beautiful image of uh, the universe that NASA, NASA has captured. Um, so suddenly he becomes even more representative of the concept I was going for, which is he is the emptiness, the space from which uh, all of our inspiration comes from. So, um, hey, Tasha, thanks for thinking my Pratt fall was great. <laughs> that was, uh, uh, I actually studied videos of uh, Buster Keaton and uh, Charlie Chapman before doing this video so I could try and like, get some of those visuals down. Yeah, it was a really great fall. <laughs> I did it like 700 times. I did a lot of them. <laughs> I'll watch it again. Uh, so, Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> 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 I did it at least like eight times. Um, yeah, that was a thing. Um, oh, actually, while we're talking about falling, I think I have this other video of me. Uh, where was it? Um, coming out of the setting up to go in the water or coming out. No, I don't have it. Uh, here, little side tangent. There's us coming out of the water for one of our water day shoots. There's Sam all geared up. There's uh, Scoop here. This guy, yeah, Sam was scuba, scuba I forgot about that. We were, on snor we were all snorkeling and Sam was scuba. Yeah. Was uh, Sarah scuba too? How was it? Yeah, Sarah was scuba yeah. this too. Easy peasy. Oh my god, he looks so <laughs> exhausted. <laughs> I, 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 
<laughs> well, you look great. Well, I became a prima donna again. Yeah. Aww. It sounds very challenging. <laughs> I don't know why. Jeez. I was actually, uh, I was really, um, I was stoked on all of the days of shooting, but after the swimming days, I was like grumpy as fuck. I got back to <laughs> land and I was like, just give me a moment to like get back to normal. And then after like an hour and some breathing, I came back. It was all good, but yeah, um, it was it really, really exhausting. Yeah. I can only imagine the donation it was intense of, for me. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't diving. You were, as an emotional support dolphin, you were doing a lot. It was exhausting. It was a long time to be swimming. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go back to this video. We're going back to the uh, the universal character. We ended up calling him the Void um, instead of referring to him as the Black. But uh, here he is. Is just kind of a summary of what you've just seen. Um, one of the things they're that's all happening. In reverse. What are you saying? Oh, they're all in reverse. It looks beautiful. Yeah, so uh, one of the things being in reverse is a reference to is actually the song, which is uh, we're going backwards in time with the song. Um, I say before the world was gray, the world was green, which is the idea being. Uh, you know, before us greedy greys came along into this world, uh, the world was covered in plants and nature and didn't have our influence on it. Mm -hmm. um, then before the world was green, the world was blue. This is even before the nature. The earth was covered in only ocean. Um, before the world was blue, the world was orange. Before even the oceans, the earth had to be formed. It was formed by asteroids coming together and explosions and it was chaos. And then before the world was orange, it was black, which is uh, before any of this, there was nothingness. There was no time. And um, so when everybody is uh, moving in reverse like that, the idea is sort of a little tip of the hat to that exact thing happening. We are all uh, moving backwards in time with them. Mm, and kind of reminds me of like the universe expanding and contracting too. Right. Yeah, I mean, this whole existence thing is super world, super weird. <laughs> mm. I think I'm just trying to make any sort of sense of it uh, in three and a half minutes of a song. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tasha would like to know, how did you get the alcohol <laughs> so waterproof? Um, you can use some some oils and some special soaps, but... Really, honestly, scrubbing is the best way. <laughs> scrubbing with some like coconut oil or something like that to loosen it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, consideration, prep, uh, you know, filming, aftermath. Like, I think all of this uh, becomes really clear as you're watching this video that there, there is a lot put into it. Um, and I think it... Uh, it is all finally be, being able to be shared with you all, um, which I'm very grateful for, because uh, yeah, we put a lot into this. Yeah, so um, much hard work. Yeah, if anyone else has any more questions before we kind of wrap this thing up, um, feel free to ask us in the comments, or uh, if anyone happens to be watching on the Instagram Live, uh, I'll look over here and see if anyone has comments. But um, yeah, this is... Uh, that's our video. That was our I'm, video, guys. I'm super fucking proud of it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> um, Share it with yeah. your friends, please. We would like a lot of people to see it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Please, uh, you know, I think we just need to get eyes on it because I think uh, if people see it, they will want to be sharing it. And um, we're so grateful to all of you for uh, having watched it and uh, being a part of this anyway, especially having made it all the way this long. Thank you guys for sticking around. Yeah, um, thank you so much. 
here. I'm seeing that uh, V has asked us, did you ever have to deal with tourists being in the way or people, or was it a private location? Very good question. Um, yes, we did have to deal with that, uh, especially at the lava tubes. Um, we, we had some people kind of uh, merging in and out every now and then that we had to like cut around. I think we actually had to tell people to not come in sometimes. Um, but yeah, um, we, we had some people to uh, interact with. Um, luckily, on the day that we did the blue shoot in the ocean, it was kind of rainy. So there were, uh, it's normally filled with tons of divers. Um, so there were not many divers that day. It also is home to um, a bunch of spinner dolphins, um, which we actually went back uh, on one of our days off to go swim with. Um, and there actually were no dolphins that day. So we had this whole giant gorgeous bay to ourselves, which was a blessing. <laughs> um, there were a lot of kismic things that happened with the making of this video that allowed it to come together, I would say. Um, let's see. Oh, my buddy Peter, my high school friend, just joined. Hello, Peter. I can see you better from this angle, too. Thank you. <laughs> um... Let's see, what did uh, Patrick wanted to know? Uh, how long did it take you to lock in your ideas for the body paint? Hmm. I think that, I think we kind of came up with the ideas pretty immediately. Like when we talked about it, the brainstorming, it came really easily what we were gonna do. It flowed pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah, we have any sure. like bumps or like butting of heads or I don't know. I think that I think it I think it went pretty easy. One of the coolest parts about making this video, I think, too, was uh, <clears throat> you know, you, me, and Sam were sort of the the artistic trinity of the making of this video, and we all mm -hmm. flowed so well together. It was just like, how about we do this? Yes, how about we do this? Everyone was just like game for, it had amazing ideas and also uh, just provided quality work for it. Um, but yeah, when, when talking, like the first concept, the first character was gray. You're talking about stepping out of a black and white movie. So <clears throat> we had some references for that. Um, second character was green, which was, uh, we want her to blend in with the jungle. Um, and the way we did that was, I took a picture with my cell phone where we were gonna shoot it probably. And that's what you used as the reference was my iPhone picture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause you were painting back in our, where we were staying. And then um, blue is sort of the most up in the air. I didn't have any uh, vision for it except that I wanted him to kind of be dark and mysterious. So um, I definitely left that to your vision day of. Mm -hmm. Black, we just did the mud and the black paint. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Zimmy would like to know how they can get painted by you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I would say my Instagram is the best place to connect with me. Um, I don't know if maybe we can put that in the chat. Well, but... you can also go to Nicolette's website, which is her name. Uh, that's to find all this, right? And that's just because that's the only banner I have. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. You can email me through my website. Um, but also, yes, uh, her her Instagram is in the description along with a link to the video if you'd like to watch that. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, definitely. Uh, it's just Nicolette out. Spear Art. <laughs> Great. Nicolette Spear Art. At mm. Nicolette Spear Art. <laughs> it's easy. Um, Let's see, any more? Oh, thank you. Patrick Meir wrote it in for everyone. Um, talk to us about what's, what's next for us. What's next for you, Nicolette? Um, hmm, what's next for me? Um, I'm working on a series of oil paintings that I'm very excited about, and I'll be re releasing those very, very soon. Um, you can find them on my website. And I'm also doing a series of body paintings that go with those oil paintings. So. It's going to be a collection and a cohesive uh, oeuvre. <laughs> <Word>. <laughs> That's a word for you. 
Um, and then I, I do throw these body painting dance parties and I have another one coming up on October 7th. Sweet. Yeah. yeah those are epic. Uh, if you guys have never been, uh, yes, go to her Instagram. And, and that Instagram is bodies and beats. There we go. <laughs> That's the concept. Bodies and beats. It's perfect. Bodies and beats. Um, I've performed at a number of her events and they are very special things to check and that's out. That's true. Robbie's performed at Bodies and Beats before. Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. um, what's next for me is, uh, wait, did Patrick, is this? It's B-O-D-I-E-S. Got it. Like, multi like multiple bodies. So, <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. In the chat. Um, <laughs> what's next for me is I am releasing a new song every five weeks uh, up through next June. This is the slow unveiling of my debut album, um, which I said is called Blue Meets Orange, which is why this song is all about colors. Um, so the next, this was the first song. It was released on July, uh, four, July 14th, which was when I was in the hospital. <laughs> um, so uh, this is the first song. The next song is called Wake, and it's going to be released on... Um, August 18th, which is also aligned with a uh, event that I'm throwing, which is a um, it's a release event. You guys are all invited to it. Um, Ooh, you can, you can uh, go to my website, RobbieFitzsimmons.com, to find out more information about this. But it's also going to be streamed live. Basically, I'm going to be playing my music with a string quartet, which is actually something I've never done uh, live, just me playing solo with a string quartet. I a lot of all of my songs have a string orchestra on them, so I'm playing these songs and then also a number of other songs that are not on my album um, with a string quartet, and I'm so excited to be doing this. Um, not only am I playing, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. You're going to be there, yes, Nicolette? Oh yeah, definitely. Hell yeah. <laughs> also. John Nagel is going to be there, who we love his music. Um, and also mm -hmm. the Wandering Minstrels, who are so delightful and charming. Um, and I hope you guys will all at least join the live stream um, or come to the event, which, again, you can find. Uh, am I pointing at my website here? You are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There. Go to my website. You can find this information or my Instagram. Um, but yeah. Uh, a song every five weeks. So keep an eye out, guys. Um, Wake is such a beautiful song. I can't wait. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, and there's another reference to uh, the colors, right? Wake is when uh, is where blue meets orange. It's when the sun is rising. The orange sun is rising into the blue sky, and they meet. It's where blue meets orange. So a lot of meta going on here, guys. I'm not just like pulling shit out of my ass here. <laughs> <laughs> You have a fun comment from Ingrid down there. Uh, uh, if you're ever looking to, for an orange location, I might have a perfect spot for you. Oh. <laughs> it's well, actually all blue and orange. Where? I mean, elaborate. Do you know what she's talking about, Nicolette? We can talk about it later, but it's a beautiful spot in Palm Springs that's all decorated in blue and orange. It's mid-century modern. It's really oh my God. pretty. I love it so much. <laughs> album, album cover. Uh, how about that? <gasps> <laughs> um so yeah i say we wrap it up thank you all so so much for joining us um for making it this far i hope this was a nice way for you to learn about uh the art and making of this video and nicolette thank you so so much for coming all the way out from maine it's now 11 o'clock for you <laughs> it's getting late guys <laughs> time for bed time for bed no one stays <laughs> up at 11 in maine mm -mm, no <laughs> 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 um so yeah you guys thank you so so much uh we love you and uh look forward to the next things that are happening for all of us absolutely thank you rami yeah A pleasure working with you <laughs> all right well spread the word watch the video share it Bye. and uh we'll talk to you later like, like share repeat all the things <laughs> goodbye <laughs>